So let's turn now to Susan Wachter to talk more about the housing market and its reaction to interest rates. She is a professor of real estate and finance at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business. Welcome back, Susan. So nice to see you again. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. What do you make of, of the erratic nature of, of the housing market right now and its reaction to interest rates? I mean, yes, Diana pointed out the surge in refis, but interest rates have been low for a long time, and we haven't seen that kind of action. Well, this is a price point in terms of interest rates, a dramatic drop to 4.1 percent. We're getting to uh, historic lows. So both refi uh, opportunity is is out there and opportunity to buy now, lock into those fixed rate mortgages at this 4.1. It's a significant decline. The decline uh, is over time, but compared to a year ago, it's 100 basis points almost. That's big. Is this a reason the Fed should cut interest rates at some point this summer? to try and revive what has been a moribund housing market this spring? Well, yeah, it's, it's almost, it could go in either direction because the housing market, these are signs that's, that it is back in play, that it's not just refi, it's also applications for purchases. And we see some slowing down in the gains in prices, yes, but a 3.6% price rise, which is what we are facing now, is moderating. It's not a decline. It's moderating. At the high end, we see, of course, uh, some, um, some decline in prices and multifamily. There is excess supply out there. But entry-level prices are still daunting. Always lower interest rates are good for the housing market. Right. But you make the point that home ownership has not really increased meaningfully since the depth of the financial crisis. This is true. There are still are millennials, millions of millennials, and uh, there are somewhat older and younger peers who are out there uh, still one third living at home, still one third renting at all time high rate at the age points that they are. So there's room for more growth in home ownership and demand for single family housing. And there sure is still an affordability crunch there, not, for in, not coming from interest rates, but coming from tight credit and high housing prices. And we're going to do the story in a little bit about how the Treasury has uh, really shut down the possibility of the SALT deductions coming back again, the state and local taxes. How much has that had an impact on housing as well? Well, it has at certain geographies, not nationwide, but high end and, if I may say so, red states, New Jersey, California, in particular markets. We can see that it has affected those markets. Susan Wachter with the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business, thanks so much. Pleasure.